Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Daniel Isn't Real. This is a 2019 film. It does not have a rating per se and it runs an hour and 40 minutes. This stars Miles Robbins, Patrick Schwarzenegger, and Sasha Lane. The description? A troubled college freshman, Luke, suffers a violent family trauma. He then resurrects his charismatic childhood imaginary friend, Daniel, to help him cope, not realizing how dangerous Daniel is. This is Daniel Isn't Real. Well, hello everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Um, this movie comes to me off of uh, research that I do and off of another movie I watched probably. And so I do that once at the beginning of every month. And uh, this was a surprise. This is a gem. Uh, not many people probably have heard about this. Don't know if it was supposed to be in theaters anywhere or anything, but it's a thriller. So it probably would have been a really good movie to put into some theaters. I just don't know what the plan was with it coming at the end of uh, 2019. So uh, at least I was able to watch it. So let's talk about it. Uh, first thing first is the title of this movie is Daniel Isn't Real is uh, Daniel. Um, just the idea of Daniel. Um, we've had movies, you know, with haunting figures and ghosts and uh, demons and, you know, look at The Exorcist. I mean, how crazy those movies are. Um, I'm going to compare this movie mostly to The Joker. Unpopular opinion alert. Um, I did not really like The Joker. I thought I was going to love it. And I'm just on the other side of things with that movie. Uh, I appreciate what, you know, he went through uh, psychologically. But I would rather watch a psychological movie like this, where, you know, family members are almost passing it on to each other and dealing with it at the same time and dealing with something like a childhood friend instead of just battling yourself like the Joker did. Uh, I think this movie is more enjoyable than the Joker. Um, you know, I just think that it has more to offer. I think it has more layers. I think it has more going on. I think it has a neater concept. I think it's more original that way. Uh, the only thing that gets a little confusing for me towards the end is they're trying to explain or have you assume what Daniel actually is. And I think it comes off as very strange. Uh, explanation. So it's open to interpretation. Um, when I left the movie last night, I uh, just watched this, you know, before I went to sleep last night, and uh, I was thinking there's about two ways to handle the ending. And I'm going to be left to assume things one way. Other people might be more frustrated or not see any kind of explanation for it. And I can understand that. But I'm left to assume things a certain way that makes sense for me, that makes sense for most movies like this. And so I'm going to go with and run with that. But the ending, I think, is probably the weakest point because it's open to interpretation and that's never a good thing, really. So, otherwise, <laughs> the rest of this movie has a lot of people in it, has a lot of characters, has a lot of things happen. It's dealing with Luke uh, trying to fit in. So Daniel helps him with that. Uh, it helps Luke with helping his mother, uh, who's already in a psych ward of sorts. And this helps with that. And kind of, you know, Daniel has this psychotherapist kind of doctor um, that he can talk to. And um, this kind of moves forward through that storyline. And he's there to kind of help. So... You know, this obviously deals with obviously to the college scene with Luke trying to maybe get a girlfriend, trying to fit in, all that stuff. So there's many, many layers to this movie. There's lots going on. Um, sometimes you might lose yourself just because it's going so fast. And uh, I like movies like that. I think it's great. You know, I mean, the last movie I can think of that I was just this intense the whole time 
it was probably like Baby Driver or something, you know, just or Fast and Furious or something like that. Just a movie that just keeps moving and moving. I, this really has that element to it. So some people might, you know, get a little confused and everything, but everything made sense to me. And I think the way they handled some of these things was just outstanding. And I enjoyed the movie for the A, the psychological stuff. And B, just, you know, what the implications of all that stuff is, you know. Um, I'm trying to think of other movies that are like this, but none, none come offhand, you know. I mean, I'm kind of thinking, you know, some of the haunting movies that we've seen, you know. But um, this is just so original. I like ideas like this. I like concepts like this that come out of nowhere. This is a movie that nobody's really seen, and I like that element too. I'm like really glad that I was able to see it and I can tell people about it. So just right out the gate to kind of wrap this up, I'm going to give Daniel Isn't Real an A. I very much like movies like this. There's a bunch I could tell you about up here that have kind of felt like this, you know, like movies that I've kind of discovered for myself and I really don't think other people have watched and the movie just kind of blew my brain out. And, um, this is going to be on that list, and uh, I'm going to own it, and I'm going to watch it many times down the road, and I hope other people are exposed to movies like this, you know, there's a, uh, just one second. This is like on the same concept, you know, like it has a young, good actor, it has a movie idea that's really original, and the movie just is out, kind of out of this world, but really enjoyable. Another one is um, Under the Silver Lake. If you haven't seen this movie, it has Andrew Garfield, who used to be Spider-Man. So that movie's worth it, too. Daniel Isn't Real is really worth it. Try and watch movies more like this, you know, that are kind of behind the scene, um, under the radar. Um, you know, I get so tired of people pushing the main movies, you know, that win awards and are so dramatic and... I watch it and it's just terrible acting and stuff. Go for stuff like this. People really try with movies like this. You know, they really want them to be out there. So that's the end of my soapbox, I guess. Uh, but I got plenty more suggestions. But uh, I'll probably be doing a live feed here sometime soon. And I'll kind of go through that a little bit. I'll kind of get some of those out. So an A for Daniel Isn't Real. Thanks a lot, guys. My name's Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them to watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.